Ruth Wanza runs the Compassionate Hearts Organization, a non-profit initiative she began in 2009 aimed at empowering the country's older generation. Hers is more of a calling that seeks to step in where government has failed the old people. Compassionate Hearts runs a program where beneficiaries each contribute 50 shillings for their welfare. The money is subdivided as follows. 10 shillings goes to a merry-go-round rotating among the members. Another 10 shillings is for table banking. A similar amount is contributed for funeral expenses deposited into a pool of cash that helps buy coffins when members pass away. 10 shillings goes to a Christmas kitty and an additional 10 shillings towards a medical fund. Hii kumi ya ine ni Amerika ufandu uingia kwa pool account. Iyo pool account mzee ya kikuwa mgonjwa uwa analala hospitali alafu compassionate hearts tunamlipia a maximum of 20,000. The efforts by Ruth are complemented by others like 64-year-old Jane Ndungu who has dedicated her life to fighting for the protection and enhancement of the welfare of the aged. She leaves her house in Komarok twice every week to help facilitate a feeding program targeting nearly 300 elderly people. We honor ourselves with our corner cedar, the video on our gaika, the corner in Jalibu, who has idea na we are so in the corner at a common kidobo. Alongside 14 other volunteers, Jane manages the county trackers group an initiative that organizes a weekly feeding program for the aged. And here, the melody in their voices matches the resolve in their hearts to help. Every Tuesday and Friday, the program runs without fail. They begin the day with porridge, after which, as lunch is being prepared, the elderly stretch their freckled bones and reminisce on the good old days. Watomilito <laughs> Tunafulahia <laughs> Hawa kupata labda kiwaja, wamekoboa manyumba. Sahi manyumba inaingia maji na hawa, ha, hawa na watu stebo. Wada wakuna watu, wana wanyanganya ile kitu mtu wakonai. Na in fact hata ukisikia siku hizi, unasikia mtoto wameua mbaba yake juu ya shamba. The song and dance here muzzles the hard life many of them are going through. For the basic of necessities such as a meal a day, which many may take for granted, for this group of old people it's considered a privilege. For a significant number of them, today's meal may be the only one they take for the day. But volunteers like Jane are determined to ensure that this generation that at one point in time helped feed the nation are themselves not left hungry. It's a vision shared by eight staff members who run the Thogoto home for the aged. It's lunchtime at the center and Jane Nduta wheels this lady for the feeding session.
The home started in 1967 as part of a feeding program by the Women's Guild. It has now morphed into a home for the aged, offering free housing to 50 senior citizens in five separate dormitories. 74-year-old Lucas Masinde was brought here by the church after he suffered a stroke in 2016. His health is much better thanks to the care given here. Tunaka salama, tunaka kwa nyumba watu kama nane, na tukafurahia kwa mana wameturuhusu kuka na sisi wakati wote. Na tunafurahia vyote wanatendea. It's the kind of refuge and comfort denied to the elderly that has brought the likes of Selina Siavei from Kajado here. She was being mistreated by her caregiver at home and was brought here by her son who has since passed away. The rest of her extended family has since turned a blind eye on her plight. <laughs> And you don't need to tell the oldest resident of Togoto Home for the Aged anything about neglect. He knows it too well. A hundred-year-old Joram is from El Bagon. He can't remember when he came here, but says this is the only home he has known for quite a while now. One parent can, can look after ten kids. And one parent, the ten kids are not able to look after the one parent. One parent didn't take uh, he, her children to children's home. But ten, parent, ten kids are bringing an old person to a home for the aged. You, it's a big question, why? Why then has society neglected one of its most vulnerable group of people? People like Hannah, who formed part of the Mau Mau and who now has no source of income after her stall was taken away from her due to rent arrears. Jameni, Sirikari Muzima Simunione Uruma. Kama nijabu ni mevanya dogo ya, 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 ya inji, si mune hurumie tu, mune onyesi ya bao nitafanya nini. Kwa sababu hiyo isto hakuna mutu dani. Na mimi ningelea, nirudisewe masini zangu, siriku wako, guo siriku wako, hata kama sita rudisiwa, angarawa mune onyesi mahali nika, nikae. Isere kali yetu, wewe ni mzuri mradi tu unafanya kazi. Ukisha afika 60 years. How come the government program meant to better the lives of the elderly is not reaching those who need it the most? Although they are old, not all of them are getting. Like here in the water home for the aged, we only have six, six people out of 42, only who are, who are, who are having the cash transfer. The caregivers kwanza wao ndi walikuwa na shida hapa kwa hii program. Kiagiva anaenda anachukua pesa za mzee, mama, hajui kusoma, anaweka kwa mfuko. Anatanganya huyu mama, oh, you know, pesa hijakuja. Mama naumia for one year, kumbe pesa ina, inatajirisha jama flani. Tumewatoa hao. I was happy when the president said it's universal cash transfer. But when it came to implementation, you'll find that there are those who are targeted and there are those who are still waiting. For how long should they wait? Government would argue they don't have enough funds to cater to everybody's needs. It could be better if they argue so, but also they let them not announce that the money has been stolen. Why are the old involved in so many land tussles, often instigated by their own children, seeking to disinherit them? Ni tamaa. Tamaa diyo mingi. Na tunuambiwa hata siku za mwisho watu watakuwa wakaidi. Watu wa erewani wa siki wa zazi. Wataki kufanya suruhu. Si unabiu unatimia. Na unabiu ule mzuri utatimizo na watu. Ule mbaya bado utatimizo na watu. Washa ni kuambie. 
Siku hiyo nilisikia ushugu nikasikia hata kichwa wangu iko na moto nikamwambia Mungu nisaidie kwa bila na kujua unife ngufu ndio niweze hii majaribu inakuwa kama moto Kwa hivyo si pahali vasuri lakini tunaomba Mungu serikali ya kwetu hii yetu ya Kenya haangalii masilaha ya wazee maana angalia masilaha ya watoto but land tussles with their own children is the least concern among residents of Dodosa village in Malindi, Kilifi County. Here, a more pressing concern troubles the hearts and minds of the aged. An issue so dire, it could be the difference between life and death. Mze Baya is lucky to be alive and he has the scars to show for it. <laughs> The gang attack against him was masterminded by his own nephew. A series of targeted attacks against the aged in this community over claims that they practice witchcraft. Mzee wetu mmoja hapa anajulikana sana kama mzee Chengo wa Kaunda. Alikatwa panga akamalizwa. Ni juzi tu kama wiki mbili zilizopita. Lakini hata hakuna hakuna mtu ambaye ame ame amefikishwa mahakamani na yule ambaye alikuwa mshukiwa naye naye hata yuko nje. Tunashangaa ikiwa serikali itafungia jicho na wazee wakiendelea kumalizika wapi wapi tutapata wapi tutapata ukwetu mwaka 2011 uh, mwaka 2012 tulipata wazee karibu 300 walikuwa wamekufa mwaka huo na hiyo ikatushtua sana many of them chased from their homesteads have now been forced to live in isolation camps where food and water remains scarce for a people being targeted immediately one starts getting gray hair it's the reason why a majority of them have decided to disguise their advancing age by applying dye to their hair to mask their true age <laughs> sasa mimi nikatoka huko nikaje hapa maka nidinganya maka maku ni kuniua mimi sijui chai wangu ni sijui those in togoto are lucky compared to their peers in malindi here they pass time absorbing warmth from heat sources and spending hours trying to master the simplest of tasks like zipping up a jacket these are the lucky few. A majority have no such homes to go to. At the moment, there is no home for the aged owned and run by the government, meaning any help usually comes from well-wishers and non-state actors. Kuna saigine wanagojekea hapa. Tunarudi tu kwa shared wetu. Anatafuta gari, waperekwa kwa mamaruse. Yeye tu ndiye anatasimamia hiyo dawa ama atuambie atuite tu kama committee tukae chini tena tuchage wapate wapate dawa mm. Mm. tunapitia kwa mashida ni vile tu hatuwezi chukua mkono tuseme hapana mm. serikali ya Kenya iwakubuke sana vile inakubukaga wale wengine eh, kwa sababu wasai wako na shida sana hii siringi 2000 wanapatio iwatosi wanaenda wanashukua Already, Margaret is late on her rent for close to seven months. She's now living on the goodwill of her landlord and her neighbors. Wakati mwingine analemwa hata wenye kukodesha wanakazilika. Lakini wanamuonea huruma kama wakati wao alikuwa mgojwa kwa sababu shosho wakati wao kwa na ugojwa wa saratani na kwa na diabetes. Shosho anataka kukula anataka kukaa vizuri lakini hawezi hata akipika chakula naona wajukuu na vijukuu wanamsunguka 
kwa katikati. Unajua hii nini ngojo hii askari inataka mtu wa kule kila kitu. Shushwa na lemo na kukula chauri akikula huyu anamwangalia. Ni za kukata kata na marafiki yako na kusingira watakuja kuomboleza kwa kavuli. Mimi sasa ile nilikaeuka ni yeye kutoka siku hiyo mimi. Mtoto wako ndiye alisema yeye mwenye uliza mtoto ambao uliza. Kapisa. Zambona hii pesa inachelewa. Hapana like the last financial year the government was able to pay for the first time since the program started within the financial year up to and including June. Uwezi kujua kwa nini wani pay? Hiyo si uwezi kutaganya. Hata hii ni risasi baba. Kiona hivi. Hii ni risasi. Na si kupigwa nikiwa kwangu. Nilipigwa nikitoka kahawa garrison kutafuta mavudoki na marisasi hii. Na ule tulipigwa naye anaitwa Dhaituru Mukoi, amekufa. Mimi nikaenda na yangu, nikasikwa mateka baka kidhunguri. Mungu akanijalia ni kuhai. Wao wanaokata panga. Wajue kuna siku moja nao watamea nywele nyeupe. Je, wao nao wakatwe panga? There is also a very very serious gap between the young generation and the elderly. Today, wale watoto tumelelea Nairobi, they cannot be able to communicate with their grandparents. Sababu sisi tumelea watoto na atuwafundishi, including mine, atuwafundishi luga ya mama. Kwangu mimi nikona baati kwa sababu all the grandparents speak English and speak Swahili. That is, that is okay. But kuna wazazi yapa na ni grandparents. Waliza watoto wakawasomesha wawa wenye wa wakusoma. Awa watoto wamekuja na irobi, wameenda ngambo, wamesomesha watoto wawa, wamewasomesha na wame... So there is a gap. Actually unakuta uyu mtoto doesn't understand why this old person is being an, 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 an nosy person. Why would this person be... Why does she need help? Why does grandma need help? Kisa ni kuwabie kijana yagu. Sisi tuko na tabu ya watoto. Si hata minko nae. Watoto wa wataki waze. Si unasikia hata huko kilifu walikuwa wanawawa wa waze. Sisi tu waze wako na shida. Waze tuko na shida. Na muzee kama huyu wako dani ya shida. Chia uli ajiwezi. Kuna mtu anamutaka. Akiada kwa huyu anamabia wachana shosho. Kwani anakaa kwa nini si akufe. Shosho wako na shida kijana na sijui tutafanya nini sijui serikali itaangalia wazee na jia gani kwa sababu mimi huyu si mama yangu si anti yangu lakini mimi nashukua jukumu ya kumwangalia ile kitu kidogo napata na mpe na mimi nauliza serikali siingilie hii hata ishike hawa watoto hata wazazi wapelekwa jela tuangalie shosho wakiwa huko Tieno, KTN News, for the special report, The Forgotten Generation.
a story there, the forgotten generation by Timothy Otieno. Feedback continues to be overwhelming as 